I'm joined by Simon Howard, Marketing Director at Bailey of Bristol. Simon, why are we here today? Joe, we're here today, um, we're doing a bit of cold chamber testing on one of our new unicorn caravans which we're launching later this year and what we really want to do is test the thermal performance of, of the body shell and also the effectiveness of the heating system and fundamentally what you're looking to do is to reduce the external temperature, temperature outside to minus 15 degrees centigrade and then increase using the heating system in the caravan, the inside of the caravan at plus 20. Why is grade 3 testing so important? The Grade 3 test is a standard test that's used throughout the industry, so it's the benchmark in terms of thermal performance of, of your vehicle. It, you can achieve it or test in two ways. You can either do it physically as we're doing today in the cold chamber, which we believe is the best possible way to test the credentials of your vehicle, or you can do it through calculation. But what it is, is giving customers an idea of how the vehicle will perform in, in either extremely hot or cold temperatures. How long has Bailey been achieving Grade 3? We started testing this when we first launched our Alutech construction uh, uh, system and the first range to have that was the Pegasus range and we launched that in the middle of 2009 and we subsequently tested every caravan and motorhome range since then using this method. Um, we're very fortunate that we're able to work with uh, both Truma and Alda who jointly own this facility because they supply heating systems to the majority of our vehicles. So we're working with the supplier to ensure that we get the best possible results from the, from the body shell and the heating system working in harmony, basically to keep people warm in very cold conditions like this. What results have you achieved before? We've gradually improved the, uh, the warm-up time and the best result we've achieved to date is 1 hour 54 minutes which we achieved recently in another unicorn prototype and we're looking to beat that today. Excellent and do you think you're going to do it? Uh, we're, we're confident yes, we're very encouraged uh, we believe with the changes we've made to the insulation of the shell and with the work we've done with Alder in terms of improving the installation of their heating system we're confident that we're going to beat our record today. I'm joined by Neil Marsden, Executive Manager at Alder. As you can probably hear, it's quite noisy in here, but it's also rather chilly. Neil, what are we about to do today? So, after we've achieved Grade 3, we're going to have a nice cold, cold chamber. It's going to be minus 15. But, even though minus 15 uh, is not unknown in the UK, the coldest temperature was actually minus 27.2, recorded in Al Sahara in Scotland. Uh, that was on December the 30th, 1995. So that's the coldest ever recorded temperature. What we can do is we can lower this cold chamber down to minus 27.2 and see what effect it has on the caravan. He might be warm and toasty in there, but I'm absolutely freezing out here. And just to show you how cold it is, take a look at this. <laughs> it is so cold in there, you wouldn't believe. Now let's go into the control room and see how the tests are going. So, it's... A Pretty good result, I have to say. Uh, you're hoping to beat your Unicorn 3 Valencia time of 1 hour and 54 minutes. And with the Unicorn 3 Cadiz, you've just completed it in 1 hour and 31 minutes. Oh wow, that's brilliant. Philippa, that's great news. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. We just weren't expecting to beat it by that much. Um, it's the best result that we've ever got, so um, yeah. Well, congratulations. What design elements do you feel helped contribute to such a great result today? Definitely the circulation of air that we've got where the cold air goes in through the bunk faces and then up behind the baffle balls through the lockers and out the, out the top definitely takes it all in and the whole van gets heated up. There's also the consideration that we changed the bathroom heater to a panel radiator rather than the towel towel dryer that's made sure that the bathroom's kept warm but you've got the circulation through the through the bathroom into the rest of the van as well so the whole van is achieving grade three and getting the temperature that 
we need to achieve the test whilst also keeping the probes in the same wet, same position. You've also obviously got the Alutet body shell, which is outstanding in its performance and has been proven since we first started testing in 2009. Could you tell me a little about the um, 60 degree difference that we, ex that we saw today? Although we're testing to minus 28, we're actually able to get minus 30 degrees outside the van and we were plus 28 at inside the vehicle, but heading up to plus 29. So we've actually managed to get a much higher range of roughly 60 degrees difference rather than 25. So I'm guaranteeing really that you can be comfortable anywhere you go in the UK.